What up, masculine? Sherry here from No Fuck Skim Crew. How's it going? Um, so this is going to be a masculine reading for September the 23rd until the 30th. So I'm going to do a slightly extended reading. So there's going to be some reading involved. Um, I'm using Call It Baron Read Enchanted Map for the main energy. So I'm going to pull the cards first. Okay, let me actually lay these down. So I'm going to pull three cards per position. I'm almost tempted to look at the bottom of the deck first just to see what the overall energy is. For the feminine, um, there was a, a disconnect. Um, but it was coming from an authentic place, I think, for at least most feminines, I believe. Um, so, let's see what's happening with you fellas. All right, so um, overall energy stuck in the mud. I'm not surprised to see that. So this is a feeling like you want to move forward. Um, you know, and the more you struggle, the, the you know, the further you stink. You stink. <laughs> you guys stink, seriously. Um, the more you sink in the mud. Shit, sorry. Okay. So, you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of life. Actually... You know, this was a message from the universe for the feminine. Um, you know, stop and enjoy this moment. Be in this moment. Uh, presence is required of you. So, becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. And that's what the, the feminine got as well. That's what she was doing. She was shifting her focus from the masculine onto other things. It was um, a self-love kind of action. Okay, so um, struggling will only get you even into even muddier places. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. So the overall energy is, you know, just surrendering, enjoying um, this time of solitude, of, you know, just being in the moment. So you feel like you're struggling and the feminine you know is feeling was feeling the same thing she was feeling like she was coming up against a brick wall um how however you're feeling stuck you're feeling like there's something preventing you from moving forward okay so um how do you feel about the feminine cleaning house so i think this is you know, clearing out the things that no longer serve you. Um, you're, it's almost like you're making room for the feminine. So it's time to clear the clutter, to make way for better things. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it's time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what, no longer, what you no longer want or truly need. Is there any unfinished business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of the house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for much better things. Look at what you've resisted discarding and, and be honest about its value. Be on, honest. Clean house. And first, the first thing that came to mind is that the 
feminine got, um, oh my gosh, um, like speaking your truth card. is It's like she desired you to be open, to be honest, to speak your truth, you know, be authentic, um, open yourself up, be a, an open book, basically. So, you know, what I'm seeing here is, you know, you're clearing out, you know, these, these thoughts, these feelings of, you know, um, you know, just negative thoughts, negative feelings, and it, I'm also feeling like karmic relationships as well. Um, the masculine may be releasing codependent relationships. Um, and so it's like, what I'm feeling from this is like they're, they're just tidying up. Do you know what I mean? So they're taking out the garbage. They're releasing it in order to make space for this beautiful energy to come in. Do you know what I mean? It's like you don't want to enter a relationship filled with um, guilt and, you know, your conscience kind of weighing on you. You, you want to be pure when you come together. So the feminine got the broom in the message from the universe. So you guys are kind of mirroring each other in that way. So three cards. So, Six of Swords, yeah, oh my god. The Feminine got this Six of Swords with um, the broom in the message from the universe. So, mirroring for sure. So, Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. That is a heavy load there. Okay, so Six of Swords in the past position. The Feminine got this in the, in the, the future position. So, she is walking away from negative thinking. But for you, you've walked away from a situation. You've ended a situation. You said, that's it, no more. Um, so there was a movement from choppy waters to calm waters. Is this, you know, move to stillness. Um, and so maybe an argument took place, um, you know, and you cut your ties with somebody in the past. I'm not feeling it's a feminine. What I'm feeling is that you've reached this climatic point where you just can't take it anymore. You know, the Ten of Wands is being caught in the machine. It's working day in and day out. It is exhausting yourself. And why the fuck are you doing that? Is it, you know, it's almost like you're hurting yourself on purpose because you feel like you deserve it. You know, and, and the 10 means completion. And here, you know, the, the, uh, we have a completion up here as well. The 7 and the 3 is a 10. So these are all endings. You are releasing yourself from burdens or you are continuing to stay in the hamster wheel. Do you know what I mean? Um... Or making, maybe you're making realizations that, you know, you just can't do it anymore. Um, I made a promise to myself in the past to move on, but yet I'm having a hard time releasing something. I'm having a hard time walking away, which you will be doing. So you know this, this garbage, this, emo, this um, emotional baggage that you're carrying around with you is wearing you down. It's, it's. You know, you're digging an early grave for yourself if you continue to do this. And you know that. Right? What's it all for? Why are you working so hard? Who do you feel that you owe? Are you repaying a karmic debt? You know, is this for your higher self? So I think you realize that it isn't. With the Eight of Cups, this is you moving on from an emotionally draining situation. This is caught in the machine right? It's like this heavy burden that you're carrying. This is, you know, making that decision to, to withdraw from negativity, negative thinking, what have you. And then here we have that walking away from emotional. So you are going to be embarking on a journey. 
it's going to be one that is difficult to detach yourself from but you know deep down inside that this is an unhealthy situation this isn't a situation that is helping you to grow it is robbing you of who you are so it's time to leave it's time to put the nail in the coffin oh my god I don't know where these analogies are coming from because I got that same kind of feeling um, you know the feminine God in her fear position the sense of walking away putting an end to something you know closing the lid on a coffin so there is a major ending happening in both aspects however I feel that the feminine has moved on has disconnected to regain her power to regain focus um, while, while you are still in the midst of the storm and you will be going on that spiritual quest that journey to discover yourself and that's what you know the feminine reading was about it's it was the authenticity zone here we are ourselves that we're not you know this this mask this projection this is the projection this is the illusion you're fighting too hard to hold on to something that is not healthy and so what you're doing is sweeping it away letting go of it once and for all cleaning house and you know and it could just really even just mean cleaning your 3d home that you're in right now do you know what I mean getting rid of the clutter um, freeing up the space so what are you resisting commitment Ha, huh. I just, um, I just heard this song in my head, um, I think Calvin Harris sings it, um, I feel so close to you, oh my god, I'm singing, <laughs> okay, I don't know if I want to put this out there now, but I feel so close to you right now, um, I wear my heart on my sleeve, oh god, I can't remember the name of um, I think it's close to you, but it is the Nero version, the dubstep version. So I'll put a link below for that. But it, I felt this like um, pulling, this magnetic drawing, um, this attraction, very strongly in the feminine reading, and it was coming from the external. So there was this, you know, magnetic attraction from a soulmate, which would be the masculine aspect, right? So here. You know, we have, I feel that bond, that, that connection between the two of you, but you are resisting it. So let's see here. It's like a force field. That's it. Yeah. Okay. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. So it's in your resisting position, so I'm going to read it in reverse. You may be walking into a commitment or contract you will later regret. This isn't a good time to sign agreements or make any choice that would tie you up for a long period. If you're in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire. Don't despair, for something much better awaits you. Now is also a time for agreements to be broken. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom later. Oh my God, and that's exactly the same message that was coming up in the feminine. You know, rejection is God's protection. So if there's somebody who's rejecting you, don't chase after them out of fear of abandonment. You know, the prize that you get isn't worth it, right? So. The masculine is rejecting anything that doesn't suit him. You know, anything that feels wrong, the vibration is wrong. I'm not going to continue to play this game over and over again. It always brings me back to this same place over and over again. Strength card. King of Cups. 
and the Six of Pentacles. So past position is the strength card. This is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation. So you're transmuting a negative environment into something that is more loving. Okay, so you've been trying. You've been trying to make something work. You know, you're putting a lot of effort into it, quite obviously. But you know that it's not making you feel emotionally fulfilled, and that's what you want. You want to be the King of Cups, and so this could be a water sign, but this is really you embodying unconditional love. It is feeling love so deeply that it brings you to tears. You know, and this is somebody who is emotionally balanced as well. So you are either resisting committing to your feminine or you you realize that there's some commitments that need to be broken in order for you to feel true love. You know, because there's always something better than this. You know, this baggage is just wearing, wearing you down. It's bringing you down. You know, it's draining energy from you. So the Six of Pentacles in the future position, this is a cohabitation card. This is an actual commitment. You know, there's an exchange of energy flowing between the two of you. So, you know, there was a sense that the masculine wasn't being open in the feminine reading. And here we see that exchange, that even exchange of energy flowing between you and another. So, open your heart up. You know, if you love somebody, tell them that you love them. And tell them every day. Why are you withdrawing? Why are you holding that back? You know, is it a fear of being hurt or, you know, it's a sense that you are um, punishing yourself by staying in a negative situation because you're afraid to feel love. You're afraid to commit. But then again, it could be a karmic relationship that you are disconnecting from. Okay, so a message from your higher self compass true north so this is you know talks about authenticity as well you know if you you know and also the feminine is true north she is your truth she is your guiding light and vice versa okay so compass as, a, as long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on your highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, prosperity, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things that you may experience along your journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. So this, you know, what I'm really feeling is, you know, a masculine going through a dark night of the soul, really. You know, it's like... Maybe the karmic left him in the past and he's tossing and turning about it. He's taking on this burden. He's believing the stories that he is, you know, neglecting his duties or is a bad father or do you know what I mean? There's this burden that's weighing on him. And so he does walk away from that. So there is a, a change occurring in his reality. And so he's feeling, you know, like things are being stirred up. He feels lost. He feels like he's in the dark, a dark place. The Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the High Priestess. So the Page of Pentacles is an offer being given to you. Um, so it's a new beginning in the 3D reality. It is abundance. It's um, the windfall card. So 
<clears throat> it's like you have an opportunity and so what you do with it is up to you you want to grow it one moment <clears throat> sorry so you want to grow this you want it to flourish um, but it's like you know the energy is that you're stuck in the mud right you're resisting moving forward or you're struggling with a situation and so that seed has been planted it is there um, the page of swords is the double communicator so it could represent an air sign but this is really you needing to express yourself speak your truth that's what it was speak your truth was the card the feminine had she wanted you to open up you know um, she wanted you to express herself yourself um, so that's what I see here your, the message from your higher self is to do just that to to tell her what you want tell her what you know tell her who you are and how you feel you know and align yourself to your higher self okay and so that's what I kind of see here uh, the high priestess is someone who uses their intuition who um, uses their third eye and you know the feminine had the third eye in her external environment so there's a sense that you guys are connected you you know on a deep level that you you know are meant to be together you're drawn together so the high priestess this is not seeing things clearly so it's elimination you know so there's a truth that is realized you know or he's following his intuition his truth um you know his compass his true north so he's stuck he feels lost you know but he has his his compass and he has he wears his heart on his sleeve. Do you know what I mean? He's following his heart. Um, or he's being asked to. He's being asked to open up, perhaps. Okay, past position, movement. Okay. So this is slow movement. It is... Um, you know, I'm not struggling, I think. Okay, you are in the time of positive movement forward. Or forward motion. This is a time for positive mo momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. Okay, so here's that restriction. Um, you're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Okay. And that feeling of opening a door was in the feminine's future position. So it was like she's closing her heart and then she she opens herself up. Um, so movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you know the actions you need to take. This isn't a time for fear. Let go and move forward. So, you know, it's really pointing back to this point here you made that decision to move on away from a negative situation but it is slow movement it is you're still being drawn back into um, the fire it's like you haven't learned your lesson yet and so spirit is going to continue to replay this karmic event until you surrender stop fighting, stop resisting, um, you know, yeah, anyway, next, Eight of Wands, Universe card, and Solar Plexus Chakra, so the Feminine also got the Solar Plexus Chakra in the future position, so Eight of Wands is communication, texting, um, phone calls, um, you know, multimedia, whatever, Facebook kind of shit. So this is, you know, um, 
Cupid's arrows. So it's high vibration, high love energy being sent to you or you sending it out. This is also you expanding yourself, reaching for these higher visions and having it manifested into your reality. So you were moving forward. You felt this momentum growing. You felt an accelerated motion and a cycle completed for you. So this is um, the end of the fool's journey. The feminine also got this card, <clears throat> but I think it was in the future position. So yeah, my throat is cracking up because of this goddamn eight of wands. It was fine through the feminine reading. Not once did it do that. Even though there was a sense that communication was required, it wasn't a big deal. She could do without it. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't that something that she needed right now. She didn't need um, validation. So what I'm feeling for you is there's something that you need to say, right? The Page of Swords. Um, she wants you to be open. She wants you to communicate, but she reached, reached a breaking point. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, um, I need to think about myself now. You need to meet me halfway. Um, so I'm kind of feeling here, you know, there was this momentum building and then suddenly, you know, there was this completion, this end of a cycle. And I feel a disempowerment with this solar plexus chakra. This is, you know, you should feel extremely powerful from the universe card. This is, you know, going through the fire many, many times. But here it's like you're still struggling to find the strength in order to deal with something, in order to walk away from something, something you feel obligated to be, you know, chained to or what have you. present moment, ghost lands, being in the now, being in this moment. So repeated theme. Okay, so you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing, for rarely do the present and the future match up exactly on the enchanted map. That is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there, yet you can take measured steps towards a goal or dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can't look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments and revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present. The now is the most important place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction, further than your heart and soul can see. So you're being asked to stop and look around. Okay, so are there stories that are being replayed in your mind? Things that are coming from the past. Uh, obligations that you feel you need to fulfill you know, wrongs that you feel you need to right, right? You know, so there's, you need to be in this moment, in the now, in, in, you know, find yourself, return to source, to yourself. So, yeah, this is all about not looking at the past, not looking to the future, um, just being in this moment. Divine Feminine, Two of Swords. Six of Wands, so Divine Feminine, past position. So this card also showed up in the Feminine's past position. So there's a sense that she knows who she is. She is the goddess of love. She is finding her strength. She is discovering who she is, like her true authentic self. Um, so there's a sense that she knows that, she knew that, but she lost sight of it, and so she's rediscovering that. So the Two of Swords is indecision. You have two choices, okay? So one path leads you to the feminine, the other to obligation. 
so you are kind of stuck at this crossroads. You are stuck in a state of, I don't know what the fuck to do. You want to reconnect with the feminine. You feel drawn to her, but you feel like you can't move forward. You feel stuck. Um, and you feel like you can't communicate. Yeah. Okay, you don't have the courage or the power to do that. So the very cool that this theme keeps on repeating, feeling of stuckedness, can't move forward. Um, so listen to spirits, please. Six of Wands is in the future position. So this is being on a spiritual path and feeling successful, feeling like a rock star. You know, people are proud of you. They see you as an example. So if you choose a path of authenticity, right? You know, this this is a path to her. This is a path, I'm thinking, almost to yourself, right? So it's like you need to travel down this road, discover yourself, and then you come back. You meet up in the middle. There will be success. You will feel like you've made the right move if you are doing it from a place of authenticity, once again. All right, so, yeah, it's almost like there was talk of a reunion, like there's movement forward, okay, let's do this, right? There's a cycle that's going to complete and then somebody lost their shit. took a wrong turn and ended up in a big pile of poo. Okay, so future position, ride the wave, baby. Yeah, yeah. So I love this card because I live on the West Coast. This is all about surfing, right? Just allowing abundance to flow to you, enjoying the moment. And there's that song again. I feel so close to you right now. And it's like you're, there's this, a magnetic attraction that's drawing you guys together. like a realization or something okay right now success is easy and effortless you can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of, of abundance the tide has turned and you can put your suff or sorry your surfing skills to the test everything that you know all your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward people and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity Know that you definitely you're definitely on the right path. So there you go again. The sense of if you choose your truth, then you can't go wrong. You're going to be on the right path. And here, spirit is saying you're on the right path. Okay. Choose love. So temperance card, solar or sorry, the sacral chakra, and seven of pentacles. So these are two cards of waiting. Okay, this is being patient. This is waiting for harvest, waiting for return. And this card is all about that wave of abundance arriving. So it's the main energy of the card. It's like something that you waited for is finally there. However, um, so the temperance card is very similar to ghost lands in that, you know, you're being asked to be in the now, be in this moment, right? You got the, the clocks here be in this moment um, you know listen to your intuition what do you feel inside what is driving you what is pulling you right if you continue to stay in this environment it's just going to bleed you dry right that's what I feel it's like you're going to keep self-medicating yourself um, and I feel there would be a point where you just can't take it anymore so the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored. So again, it's kind of pointing back to this king of cups and the eight of cups. You, you don't feel emotionally fulfilled. You feel lacking. Um, and since there's this wave of abundance coming in, it's like your patience has paid off. And then you, you feel this overwhelming joy and bliss because you decide to stay on that, that path. Um, in the Seven Pentacles in the future position, it's like the wave is coming towards her. So it's this, 
you know, final moment of fruition. So I'm going to pull a card for that. Whoa, whoa. Jesus. Okay. So we all show where is the book. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to pull from Call It Bear and Read. So this is Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, clarifier for Seven Pentacles, please, Spirit. Why? 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 So the Seven of Pentacles is contemplation, okay? Um, the Temperance card is having balance in all areas of your life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally and being in the now. So it's like, it seems to me like you're achieving that now moment. You're not allowing your emotions to overcome you. You're riding that wave, you know, surface up. And here, the contemplation card, she's actually a surfer and she's waiting for the tide to turn. And here it says the tide has turned, right? She has her surfboard here and she's waiting for the tide to turn. So this massive wave, comes in and she's like oh my god the you know it's finally here that moment um and there's freaking dolphins surfing with you so you achieve this you achieve this state of you know feeling like you've arrived okay what am i looking for here Did, okay why so questioning why you want answers. You know, and contemplation is a reevaluation. It is thinking thoughts, thinking way too many thoughts. That's maybe why you're stuck in the mud. Okay, so the meaning is motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you're being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this and why did I say that and spend some time in introspection, the answer may be surprising. Listen to the, to the message from your intuition from that knowing deep within you, what does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, um, life is all about being loved. Miracles and the deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today, why? So, you know, it, I pulled it for the seven pentacles, which is contemplation. It's asking why. It's seeing where you've made the mistakes in the past so you don't continue to make those mistakes. It's also, you know, feeling like you've accomplished a lot and now you're wondering if you want to risk that on somebody else. So, you know, there's a hesitation. There's a feeling like I've got something here and, um, you know, is it worth it? Will I be hurt? You know, why am I doing this? What is my drive? You know, it's all about being stuck in the mud and it being in the head too much, thinking too much instead of following your heart, you know, pointing your compass to true north towards love. You know, if I get rid of this stuff, is it going to come back to haunt me? So ask the question why, and there you will find the answer. Okay, so this was upside down. This is message from the universe, which is magic prayer in reverse. It's almost like she's hanging upside down. And I'm actually um, uh, in the Divine Feminine reading. I made reference to that song by Flex Pavilion, Bass Cannon, and that's kind of what I was feeling. It's like. You know, this energy is coming towards the feminine, um, synchronicities, tests, you know, um, she's being tested. Okay, so number 32, do I got the right? No, I don't. Okay. 
Okay, so it says, speak your prayer, listen for the answer, act in faith. So in reverse, self-will that goes unchecked could bring difficulties. Reverse, the magic prayer card is a sign that you mistakenly believe that your way is the only one. Could the path you're on be leading you to a place of regret? Or could you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? If so, you may be, f may be facing a painful lesson and a lonely one too. Perhaps it's time to pray and meditate on the highest good and the highest good of all. Spirit may have the other plans for you. Be sure that they will be better than you could ever have dreamed up. So, yeah, again, the sense of being stuck in the mud. Um, you know, and feeling like you're, you're hitting, you know, a brick wall as well. You're hitting a, a dead end. Um, you know, there's this fear of risk. The devil, of course. The moon. And the king of wands. So, past position, devil. There's your chain. There's your codependent relationship. This is what is holding you back. You know, this is what's causing the indecision. The devil or the divine feminine. You know. There was a sense that the feminine was also hiding behind the devil, too, as well, right? using it as a crutch. So you've put the devil behind you. It's in the past. You've made that decision to let go of it. But there's, you know, a sense of disillusionment. You feel kind of in the dark, right? You know, and the message is to f you point your compass to true north. Um, so Fears are consuming you, and you are questioning whether or not to move forward towards the feminine, towards this connection, but ultimately you can't, you cannot disconnect from true love. So you are in a deep contemplation phase, deep you know, uh, a darkened phase. So you will be finding your power in the future, the King of Wands. So you will rediscover that strength, that courage, you know, become the leader. Um, and this is somebody who is completely free of detachments, free of fear. You know, he is the sun, the center of the sun. The darkness cannot exist in light. So you discover your power and you move on. Right? You, dis you discover yourself. So this is someone who's very passionate, very creative, very courageous. Leader. Okay, so your external environment, strength. Again, this sense of finding your strength. Repeated theme strength to move on, strength to trust, strength to open up your own spiritual strength. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from the sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened and that's exactly what I said this is the external environment of the masculine and so this it would be the feminine energy so you know this strength is wavering with her right she you know there's a sense of release for some it is like a disconnect because of resentment you know, feeling like things haven't been reciprocated. Um, but on the other hand, the other half of the feminine feels like they are in this point of acceptance. They realize there's nothing more that I could do. There's, you know, I've, I, I 
have told you how I felt, you know how I feel, and so I leave that to you. I'm going to look at, after myself now, you know, but be careful of, of closing off. So there is this feeling of strength that is formulating both within, you know, for both of you, right? She, there was a queen of wands, the solar plexus chakra, and something else, oh, the, the chariot, which is movement, it is pure will, it is taking control, so she becomes the surfer, right? So there's that sense of surfing and riding that wave, um, but she was trying to reclaim her power, and here you guys are mirroring each other. The masculine is in a dark state, but it is, he is there of his own free will. So maybe he's drawing upon the strength of the feminine to get him through a difficult period. Um, just accepting what is, you know, feeling like sh he's surrounded by love here. And again, that harkens back to that song again. I feel so close to you, like a waterfall. So have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on the higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything right now. So strength, resilience. Um, there was a heavily grounded energy coming from the feminine. Not needing, not wanting. Three of Cups, King of Swords, that's ironic, and the Nine of Wands. So the King of Swords showed up in the feminine's future position for the external environment. So um, the Three of Cups in the past position, this is an ignition of love and celebrating that love, having it welling up inside of you. So this card also showed up in the feminine's past position. So there at one point you set, you were celebrating this connection you were the energy was flowing you know there it was love that was vibrating you know the frequency that was vibrating but then it stopped because of fear fear took over so the king of swords um is somebody who makes decisions <clears throat> somebody who communicates see that synchronicity of my voice and the need to communicate always happens. It's so freaky, actually. Anyway, the feminine wants you to be open to express your truth. Remember, I said she wants you to speak her truth. That's what the card was in um, how she views you, how she views this connection. Is she wants you to be open. She wants you to speak her truth. Right? There was this flow of love. But then, you know, there's a sense that it stopped. You feel stuck in the mud. It, it's, it's not moving forward because you are not allowing it to. So either she's telling her truth, she is disconnecting emotionally from you, or, you know, there's this... need to take action, maybe? I don't know. Okay, and it could be vice versa. You want her to speak her truth to you, um, but that doesn't make sense with the masculine energy there. It's like she's showing you a mirror. It's like, come on, right? Um, you know the truth. So find that strength to express yourself. The Nine of Wands is spiritual strength. It's a strength card as well. This is being through battles, countless battles, time and time again, and feeling wounded. And that is what I felt from the feminine. Some of them were feeling wounded. Like, I can't do this anymore. I give too much of myself and I get nothing in return. All I get is um, brick walls and rejection. So this is somebody who wants to throw in the towel. But really, what at the core of who they are. They have that strength to push forward, to give it that final push. And so that's what's being projected here. She is a wounded warrior, but she has this incredible spiritual strength. Look at her. She's holding up this world and balancing at the same time. There's this openness and acceptance 
and groundedness that is allowing a space for communication, right? There's this, he's desiring that safe space to feel that he can commit or release himself from a commitment. I don't know. Okay, so what do you fear? Moonlight, there's that moon. Same card right here. Look who's peeking around the corner. So the moon, 51. So your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, anal analytical follow it. So again, there's that you're questioning your um, intuition, right? So true north, trust your instincts. So it's in your fear position. Should I read in reverse? I don't think I read the other one in reverse. Or no, it was already in the reverse position. Um, Okay, I'll read it in reverse because it is in your fear position. So, too much analyze. See, too much analyzing. You're thinking way too fucking much. You're comprom or you're contemplating like a motherfucker. Really, come on now. You don't need to analyze so much. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, you you're feeling drawn. You're feeling. You know, you feel true love when you think of the Divine Feminine, and you want to find your way to her. But there's this fear that is whispering in your ear as well. So, too much analyzing is getting you nowhere. Stop overthinking things. You may be exhausted from second-guessing yourself all the time. All, sorry, um, yourself all the time and losing your footing. Let me repeat that. You may be exhausted from second-guessing yourself all the time and losing your footing. There you go. Second-guessing yourself, losing your footing, right? It's like you're thinking way too much. You're doubting. Same thing over here. Okay, so... Are you insecure about your ability to make good choices? Step back and regroup and enter into a more trusting relationship with the flow of life. Don't become overly concerned about perceived mistakes. How you will learn to dance? How will you learn to dance if you don't occasionally take a misstep? On the moonlight pathway, you can discover love and truth and wondrous things. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Go play, have fun, stay open and trust. Stay open and trust, right? So then you guys are both closing off now. And, you know, maybe that's what is needed. But you fear this. You fear that your, your intuition isn't leading you down the right path. That's why you're stuck in the mud. Okay, but it's this illusion that is keeping you in hell. Like, think about that. Ten wands. You're laying in a bed of fire. So, three cards for that. Ace of wands. Five of pentacles. And the judgment card. So, past position. Ace of wands. This is kundalini awakening. This is awareness. This is <clears throat> wanting a new life. Um, you know, it's a spiritual awakening. Okay? And so... You want to take that Ace of Wands and you want to begin an adventure. You want a new life that is more in line with your truer, higher self, right? The King of Wands. Take that Ace of Wands and become power. Become the sun. Become strength. Do what you need to do. Make the decisions that you need to make. And I'm almost feeling like the, the feminine has disconnected because she doesn't want to influence your decision anymore. If you feel drawn to stay in a karmic partnership, then that is your choice. You know what I mean? It's like, um, there was a feeling that she needed to be open and, and, you know, mend the wounds, but at the moment she's not quite willing to do that because there's 
other things that she needs to take care of. And so maybe you feel stuck because you don't feel that energy anymore. And maybe that's why you feel lost and confused. Contemplating your next move. That's why you're questioning whether or not you should take a risk. Um, so you guys are both picking up on each other's energies. And um, so obviously this needs to be cleared. So the Five of Pentacles is taking that risk. It, you know, this is feeling of being left out in the cold also. It's a disconnected energy. So you fear disconnecting. You fear, you know, letting go of something. Something that gave you a sense of safety and security. So, you know, this is freeing yourself. If it means a financial risk, then, you know, step into the unknown. Take that risk. So the future position is the grand awakening. And this is also judgment, making a judgment call. So you have this new beginning. You have this creative ins inspiration. And you know that in order to move forward, something needs to be released in the 3D. And there's a sense of you wanting to hold on to it out of fear. But you will make, you will have an epiphany in the future position. You will realize, you know, that you're still continuing to play the game, right? This is a movie being projected on the screen in your own mind. So you are going to replay something because that's all you've been doing. You're in your mind. You keep replaying, replaying, thinking, thoughts. And so that's just continuing to keep you on that hamster wheel. So I think you need to put the brakes on, get stuck in the mud for a little while, and then there you will see the truth of the matter. And hop on that surfboard. Go for a surf. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Stop resisting. Stop denying yourself of pleasure. You know, you, you ultimately want your freedom. You want to be free. And that's what is coming to you. Also, the Temperance card is the ultimate union card for Twin Flame. So there's this balance or union energy that is, you know, morphing or transforming your environment right now. And so you feel like you might be losing when in fact you be, you're starting to believe that you are losing. That the risk is too great. Okay, so I am going to pull two cards from this, and, or actually one card from this and the maid. I accidentally pulled two cards for the feminine. Spirit, I just want one message, please. This one. Mermaid with a pink lotus. Number one. Okay, so this card is all about looking after yourself as well. So... It is mirroring, number one, you are obviously exhausting yourself for nothing. Okay, so close your drowsy, drooping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flowers. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested, fit and fresh. Yes. Right, savor the moment. Um, enjoy life. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among a tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair and, second, and a second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So again, there's a feeling of being in stasis, right? So the meaning, make an effort to relax. Yeah. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish, and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Exactly. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? 
Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even and notice your energy flow through your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. Again, with that waterfall flowing down. A walk near a beach or a lake, a rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. Are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment could be most helpful to reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa could be just what your body and mind need to chase away that stress. So there, you know, there was movement in the past and now there is stuckedness. So Spirit is asking you to question, why do you feel this way? Why do you feel stuck? You know, where is this feeling of lack coming from? Why do you feel like you are taking a risk? And, you know, it's almost like you need to now release that and just go for a surf, right? Once you let go of thoughts, then you are open, you become receptive. Um, and that's when the answers come. So I think self-love is important and this could mean that the masculine may be traveling, may be moving, um, considering a movement, but it's like a last minute hesitation, but he feels drawn. All right, so I hope this helped. I love your comments, so please feel free to share. All right, guys, I love you. Peace.